I'm Beck Gange, Axis Team Rider, and I'm here to give you a few pointers on how to trailer your boat to the lake smoothly. No matter what size your rig, getting to the lake is a breeze when you follow a few simple guidelines for safety and etiquette. It all starts with your Axis trailer and these quick tips. Along with all your water sports equipment, you'll need an appropriately sized US Coast Guard approved life jacket for everyone on board, plus a throwable. Kids under 13 need a PFD they can wear at all times, so it's a good idea to get one that's comfortable. Check your local and state regulations for additional safety requirements. If your vehicle has a backup camera, you can do this solo. And if not, you're going to want a friend to help out. Make sure you have a two inch ball, as all access trailers require the two inch couplers and the right ball is essential for a secure tow attachment. Position the coupler about an inch above the vehicle's trailer hitch ball. So you've got enough height for the ball to clear the coupler, but not so much that it's hard to judge when you're on the right spot. Whether you're backing up with the vehicle's reverse camera or having your friend give you signals, remember to take it slow. When the ball is directly under the coupler, put the vehicle in park, set the brake and lower the trailer onto the trailer hitch using the tongue jack. Lock the coupler in place on the ball. Secure your safety chains on the vehicle and plug in your trailer's electronics to the vehicle. Remove the boat's cover unless it's specifically a trailering cover. Make sure the trailer's transom straps are secured to the boat on the lifting eyes on either side of the transom. Remove the chocks or disengage the trailer brake and you're ready to roll. When trailering, you're going to want to swing much further out so the trailer doesn't clip the curb, especially on the right-hand turns. Wait for your opportunity and pull out only when it's safe and you can get into the second lane over when making right turns. In most cases, that will give you enough room to turn without hitting the curb. It's always a good idea to drive a little under the speed limit on the highway and no matter what road you're on. Keeping an eye on your blind spots and practicing defensive driving will get you to the lake trouble free. When you need to reverse, everything will be backwards with a trailer. A trick is to put your hand on the bottom of the steering wheel instead of the top. Whatever direction that hand goes, the trailer will follow. The next step is launching the boat. 